Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and that the year 2016 has been good to you so far. For this video, I wanted to tell you some of my goals for 2016. Um, in all honesty, I'm coming into this video open-minded. Um, I don't really know what my goals are. I've thought about them, but I just kind of wanted to talk out my thoughts with you guys. So, let's get started. My number one goal, or my first goal, is not necessarily the number one, but it is something very important to me, is I want to eat healthy, which I know everybody, majority of the population, when they make goals for the new year, they make the goal to eat healthy, and it lasts a week, and that's it. But I've been trying so hard to get myself to eat healthier for the last year and I have failed time and time again. Now, that being said, I do eat healthier than a lot of people. I don't eat fast food and if I do, it's once every four months, if that. Um, I only eat pizza once a week maximum, sometimes it's once every two weeks. And generally, I make my own pizza, so that's healthier. I don't like pop. Um, I've never liked pop. So I don't drink that. However, chocolates are my favorite. I have a cupboard full of chocolate. And that is my downfall. Chocolate and Skittles and Starburst, anything sweet, ice cream, I love it. Cinnamon buns, yes please. It's all my favorite. But I need to cut back on them, which some of you may think, like, no, you don't need to cut back on them because growing up, um, I had a lot of people tell me, you need to eat more. And still people tell me, I need to eat more. But the thing is, I don't think I need to eat more because I already eat a lot. I eat my three meals. I have snacks throughout the day. I just want to make those snacks healthier and so that's my goal. I don't want to eat less, I don't want to diet, I don't want to do anything like that. I want to eat less sweets that I crave and I want to have better self control with that. So that is my first goal. I hope that kind of makes sense. Goal number two is something I just kind of thought about last night and that is I want to use social media less. I am always on Facebook, I'm always on Instagram, and I'm always on Twitter. Which, in some aspects, yes, it's good. Like, for YouTubers, big YouTubers, they have to communicate with their followers, right? So being on Twitter, being on Instagram, whatever, it makes their followers happy. But at the same time, I mean, I don't have a lot of followers, and thank you to the people who are subscribed to me, even though I've sucked at making videos, but still thank you for being subscribed to me. Um, and if you aren't subscribed, then please do. Uh, but anyways, where was I? I completely lost my train of thought. Even though like social media is great, it helps you stay in contact with people, I spend a ridiculous amount of time on Facebook because my house isn't very big. You can only clean so much. And once that house is spotless, there's nothing else to clean, right? So, I go on Facebook. And instead of doing other things that I enjoy, I go on Facebook. Or I go on Instagram. Or I go on Twitter. And I feel like I need to cut back on that. And I'm very, very tempted just to delete Facebook. Because that's my main procrastination tool. And... I want to start using it for what it was meant to be meant for, just to stay in contact with people versus going on there, seeing what's up with, you know, the latest drama or whatever, because it's always the same people posting the same stuff that's, I'm like, feel sorry for me, or hey, look what I did, or trying to get likes on photos and stuff, and it's not about that. It's about being able to connect with people who you haven't connected with in a while, or like family members who live in Timbuktu or whatever, like... I don't know, I just want to use it less for being Snoopy and f more for what it's meant to be for. And so, with that being said, I don't use it what it's meant to be for. And so I want to cut down on my social media and spend more time 
focusing on my life and what's happening around me and not what's happening in someone else's life. So that's number two. I hope that made sense. Number three is myself. I want to work on my happiness and myself. Um, I'm a pretty happy person to an extent. Um, I do have my flaws. I do have, um, I'd say, I don't want to say I have depression. I have suffered from depression in my past. Um, I also suffer from anxiety. Sometimes it's really bad, sometimes it's okay. But I want to get through it. I want to not feel anxious anymore when I leave my house, which is going to be incredibly hard to get through, but I think I can do it. And I want to achieve this by putting myself in situations that I wouldn't normally put myself in. In my, I live in a very small town. There is two grocery stores and two hardware stores, and that's pretty much it. But I refuse to go. There's only one grocery store I go to, and there's only one hardware store I go to. And it's just because I'm scared to go to the other ones, which may sound stupid, but for some reason, I'm only comfortable going to those two. So I want to put myself out there and start going to other ones. I want to be able to take the dump, the garbage to the dump on my own. I want to... I don't know, I just want to be more confident in what I do and in myself and not be so scared and worried about leaving the house. So that's number three. I hope that makes sense. Again, that I just want to improve myself and my happiness. And I think that by going out there and doing more things and facing my fears that I will be happier. Number four kind of goes along with two and three. As I use social media as a procrastination tool and I want to work on my happiness and do things that make me happy therefore I want to make more YouTube videos I enjoy doing YouTube I enjoy filming um, it would be nice if I film like twice a week instead of like five videos in one day like I do now but then it lets me edit them throughout the week and I like being able to get dressed up and do my hair not that I did my hair for like any of my videos but it's fun to do my makeup and put on a nice dress and like some jewelry because in my town we don't do that. You go to the store in your pajamas. And I could dress up but people would look at me weird and I know I need to not care. But yeah, anyways, so I want to make more YouTube videos. I want to make at least one a week. So that is going to be my goal is to make at least one a week for you guys. My last goal is... I want to travel more. I want to see more things this year and do more things. I've started off the year with going to Hawaii and I think that that has this little bug in my ear of you need to go more places, you need to have more fun just because the day I got back I was sad. I just felt like I was missing something, like a huge piece of me. And I don't know if it was because I was with my family in Hawaii or if it was just the whole coming back to this town because to be honest where I live is not my favorite place but there's nothing I can do about it well I could but I'm not going to take those do those actions in order for me to not be here anymore but I want to explore and I want to see more things and going to Hawaii was so much fun and just being able to see around and see a different life there and I don't know it was just so cool and I, I don't know, I just, whether it's exploring more Canada, which I would love to do, or going to the States and seeing more states, or going to England and seeing, going to London, I don't know, or Europe, which in Europe, England, London, all the same thing. But you know what I'm saying, I want to travel more and have more fun, whether it's a weekend trip with some friends or a two week long holiday, that's what I want to do. And I think that would also make me happy and give me life experiences and stories because ultimately it all leads back to number two which is Facebook and Facebook doesn't give you stories to tell or life experiences or anything like that 
getting out there and doing things, saying yes, becoming happy and content with who you are and yourself, that gives you experiences. And that's what I want to do. So ultimately, my big goal of 2016 is to become happier with myself. And pretty much all my other little goals are ways for me to become happier. Whether or not I'll achieve them, I'm not sure. But I hope I can make progress. Because Rome wasn't built in a day. But I'm really, I'm just excited to see where 2016 will take me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye!